Hey there, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got for you today what I'm going to call my ultimate keychain training for kids using the Glowforge. So, my friends, let's get cracking. The first part we're going to design is in Tinkercad. So, let's quickly do a search for Tinkercad.com. Once there, simply click that sign in button. And then I recommend using sign in with social providers and just use your Google account. Once we're in, if you're in the tutorial, just click this button to go back to the create a new design option. And I want you to use a fancy shape for this lesson. I want you to go down to featured and find the amazing soft box. I have measurements I demand you use for it. I would like you to put in 75 for the length of the keychain. I would like you to put 25 for the Y dimension and make sure you press enter when you're done typing and then wait for it. The Z dimension doesn't really matter, but I'm going to tell you two millimeters because that's what I like when I look at my keychains. And then here is the magic part. We're going to click the wall and we're going to slide it all the way to the right or type the number 100 to make our sweet keychain design. I'm going to leave the outer radius at six because I love that part of the shape. I'm going to look at it from the top and you can see how that is going to be a nice rounded keychain. The last part is to add the hole and we're going to do that by going back to basic shapes, bringing out the cylinder hole, making it so it has 64 sides to round it out just a little bit more. I'm going to hold shift and shrink or grow. It doesn't matter because once I held shift, it knows I'm changing every measurement. And I want you to type five in one of the little boxes and press enter. And all of a sudden your keychain has a sweet little five by five hole. I like to line that up once again from the top by clicking align. And then I want to align it with this corner. So you see how the keychain is going to be in that spot and this corner. And then I'm going to click on the hole and I'm going to just use the nudge to nudge it three clicks down, which is three millimeters because of my grid, and three clicks over. When I'm happy with that, it looks aimed really nice and aligned really nice. I'm going to grab them and group them. Just like that, we are done with our project. Let's change the name to Keychain Base with our initials. And then we simply hit the export and we need to export it for laser cutting using the SVG. If you're in my classroom, we click the desktop choice, the MT tools choice, and then shortcut to STL, and then make sure it has our name and initials, and with that we're doing the SVG file. When you hit save, you are done with the first part of making your own custom keychain. It's time to make the words for our cool keychain. To do that, I want you to go to Google, and then I want you to find your Google Drive. Choose the new button, the more button, and we are going to use Google Drawings to make our awesome words. You can put words on both sides of your keychain. So I'm going to name this Keychain Front and also put my MDH. We are going to have to make them separate files. And we are simply going to choose Insert Word Art. Make sure you choose that because it is the fancy text that we can use in the Glowforge. I'm a huge Lions fan, so I'm going to type Go Lions for the front of my keychain. When I click to set it in, it shows me the words. It does not matter how big they are. We are going to scale it down in the device. As soon as you've got your shape, you can go to the fonts to find one that you think is awesome. If you want to search more fonts, you can click this button and find more that you think are cool. When you've got one that you think seems pretty neat, you can just click on it to add it to the list. I'm going to go with Abril and tell it OK. Notice my font looks really, really cool. And I am ready to do the file download to get that piece as a scalable vector graphics, an SVG file in that same desktop MT Tools STL files folder. Notice it has keychain front already there, otherwise I could save it with that. And now I'm going to do the back. Click File, click New, click Drawing, and repeat those steps.
Alrighty friends, so now that you've got those files completed, it's time to move over to the Glowforge computer and I'll show you how we have to set that one up as well. So the Glowforge computer is over in this corner. It is signed in already with my Kid Harmon account. Right there is the Glowforge hiding behind it. And when you get over here, you simply need to launch Google Chrome and then click on the MT folder and choose sign into the Glowforge laser printer software. Once you click sign in, you'll just click on the box and it takes you to the Glowforge app. In the design library, we need to upload our part. Click on the desktop, MT tools, and then go to that STL file folder and we need to start by bringing in the base. Make sure I've put a piece of wood in for you and make sure I've told you how many millimeters thick it is. Ours is gonna be four millimeters so we can just hit submit and it'll refocus on the piece of wood. Grab your design and move it down to where the wood is. If your wood is across this way, you can leave the design. This one we need to rotate so that it fits most efficiently. And we're gonna drop it in as close to straight as we can. Move it to the edge, making sure you still have wood connected. And then we need to enter our settings. To cut wood, we use three passes at a speed of 175 and a power of 90. So just click the box and you can see the red lines where your design is going to cut out. Now let's add the front of our design. Keychain front saved in that same folder. I don't even have to change. You'll note the warning that it has a clip path. That's this silly rectangle here that we don't need. So we simply hit ignore on that and then drag that to the bottom of the design. Let's enter the settings for our shape. We want to do an engrave and I want to engrave the thick part of my words with a 1520 setting. I'm going to go to the outline and I want to engrave it as well, but I want it to engrave deeper. So I'm going to click the 1520 setting and I'm going to adjust it. I'm going to make it cut slower at 400. I'm going to bump up the power to 30. I'm going to make sure the lines uh, per centimeter are up around 135. And then I want my focus height. I want to make sure I change that to the size of the wood we're using. Remember, today our wood is 4 millimeters. Let's quickly check the settings for our other shape. That 1520 also needs to be set to 4 millimeters. And now the front of my keychain is ready to cut. And this, my friends, may be the best part. You walk over to the Glowforge and you look for this little white light. When it is blinking and you've checked with me to make sure that you're good to go, you may simply hit this button and let the machine do its work. Of course, it is more fun to watch it happen over at the Glowforge, but you can see here that it's going to be about a 10-minute process for your front of your keychain to be created. So when the cut completes, it takes a minute for the fan to shut down and then you can open the Glowforge and then reach in and pull out your design so we can flip it over and do the back. Make sure you find the little hole that you cut out and put it in the little trash bin that we have below. And then when you flip your design over, make sure you remember which way the words are. So because I'm putting Go Lions down to the bottom, I'm gonna just flip this up, throw out that little nugget, and then get it lined up to do the back side of our keychain. It wiggled a little bit, but that's all right. We'll just adjust it in the software. So we get to keep both parts in the same file by simply dismissing, clicking on our old Go Lions or whatever yours said, and switching it to ignore. Make sure you do that for the other half as well. Simply hit the back button and choose ignore so those are no longer going to cut. And then add the keychain back using that upload artwork button. I'm going to start by getting rid of the clip path using the ignore and once again moving it down to the bottom. And then I'm going to click on the one pride. I'm going to move it away for a moment. I'm going to click on my go lions and just move it down below. Now I can take my one pride and rotate it to 90 degrees to make that design show up awesome. And then squeeze it down so that it actually fits on our keychain space. If you're looking closely, you can see the red lines of our former cut of the keychain. We need to click ignore on that as well. 
double, double, double check to make sure you did that. I'm going to move that off to the side so it's out of the way. Remember, this shows the top of the keychain, so I know I've got my words one pride lined up the way I want it. I can move over to my settings, and let's do the thick one first again. We want to do an engrave 1520. We do want to double check and make sure our thickness is right. Uh, today I'm using 4 millimeter wood. Make sure you always ask that question. And then let's go to the outline. We will still click engrave. We will still do the 1520, but we're going to change it to 400 and 30 and then the 5 millimeters or 4 millimeters, depending on what kind of wood I gave you that day. I'm going to stay at 90 lines per centimeter this time. And I'm going to click OK, and I am ready to cut the other side. Simply hit print, and then you can go over and press the button. Which is the highlight of the day. And once again, once the fan stops, you may open up the Glowforge and pull out your awesome keychain that you just created. You move the wood this time, it doesn't matter, and you just get to pat yourself on the back for how awesome your keychain turned out. Alrighty friends, I hope you found this useful and fun. If you did, please hammer that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.